How you doing, my friends? And welcome to the uncle who works for Nintendo. Now we know how scary Nintendo can be. He'll take down any U video on YouTube if it has anything to do with any of their games. And this one has going to have Nintendo in the title, so this one's going to be down in about five minutes, so hurry up and watch it. But anyway, apparently this is some kind of horror game. Text-based horror game. It's going to be interesting. I have no idea. You are 11 years old. God damn it, I haven't even hit puberty, so Slong John Silver isn't at his full potential yet. Oh, that won't stop me. What is your best friend's name? Andrew, Ashley, Brandon, David, fuck you, David, Jessica, Megan, Nicole, Michael, Ryan, Sarah. Well, right now it would be Mike. But since I'm 11, I had a friend named Ashley back, like back then. I don't know if I was exactly 11, but me and her got along awesomely. So it's Ashley. Your best friend Ashley is invited you to a sleepover. Oh, good God. Oh, she already wants to booty. You've been friends since first grade. So asking mom is basically now a format, only a format. Yeah, no. My mom pro would probably wouldn't care so much, but my dad would throw me out the fucking window. So I'm asking. You've never confirmed this, but you suspect the babysitter may charge extra when there are two kids. You sometimes feel like staying somewhere else is on the only way that you can help out. Okay. Do I have a brother or something? Your best friend Ashley is invited you to sleep over. Huh? Oh. Okay. So it's only a formality. Okay then. On Friday night, you're home for only a few hours. Long enough to pack. Get a... Get in a fight with your younger sister. I do. Okay. Pack some more and watch some TV. It better be that Dragon Ball Z bullshit, man. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man! Make me a cake as fast as you can! <laughs> At six sharp, you're standing on the sidewalk outside Ashley's house while your mom idles in the car nearby. I thought asking mom was only a formality. So I guess I did ask anyway. She leans out the window. You behave yourself, okay? She says, as always, I'll be at work, but if anything happens, you can call me. Yeah, Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pick you up tomorrow at 3. She says again, as usual. But then she pauses, looking up the sky, which has been overcast throughout the night. If you play outside, she asks, Be careful! It's probably going to rain! Yeah, I wave. I was never the kissy person. After you part with your mom drives off the street disappearing around the corner, you turn back to Ashley's house, the lights inside are glowing warmly. You can see Ashley waving at you from her bedroom on the second floor. Oh, Ashley's adorable. Head in the insides. It's 6 p.m. Okay. Ashley's mom meets you just inside. Hello, she says. Dinner will be dinner will be ready in just a few minutes. But you could drop stuff off in the den. You and Ashley are camping out there tonight. Cool. Okay. No, I didn't go to the den. Just that silent uh, protagonist. Coolio. You drop. Oh, does that even matter? Cool. Okay. <laughs> They're pretty much the same thing. You drop. You, fuck you. You drop your sleeping and overnight bags in the corner off the den and then pause and take a look around. Behind the couch, a grandfather clock is ticking softly through the set of the patio doors in the far side of the room. You can see a sky just as gray as it was when mom left. What the fuck was the rain then? Framed pictures line the walls and over the dark fireplace hangs a monstrous pair of antlers from a buck that Ashley's dad shot years ago and now people are triggered to fuck. Of course, it's a big screen TV. Help me! The big screen. Sometimes it may it makes you. Sometimes it makes you uncomfortable. Just how nice Ashley's house is than yours. <laughs> I'm crying like a little bitch. Ashley entered your room while you weren't paying attention, and she now stands in the doorway, smiling respectfully. Are you ready? Are you ready for dinner? Yeah, bitch. 
Dinner passes quickly. Tonight's meal was spaghetti and meatballs. I haven't had that for what? Well, no, I want my spaghetti and meatballs. One of Ashley's favorite meals. Her mother points out while piling a helping of your plate. Ashley's father cracks a beer. Ugh. And Jeffrey interrogates you about how much trouble you and Ashley are getting into in, at school. A fuck ton! Dessert is heaping bowls of ice cream, drizzled with chocolate sauce, and can't even finish yours. What the fuck, kid? Get in there! Eat that shit! The grandfather clock and then chimes. Beer or chiming clock? Fuck, uh, let's go beer. Wait, that wasn't beer at all. Yeah, it was a glass of lemonade. Ha 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 ha! Because we're PG. Why would you even think it's beer? Ashley's father doesn't drink alcohol. I don't they know anything fuck all about it. You're quite certain in the back when you remembered it. What the fuck ever? Okay. <laughs> what? No. No. You go along now, says Ashley's mom, smiling from the side of the table. We'll clean up in here. Let's go get the TV ready, says Ashley, and the two of you in the dining arm room and head upstairs. What the fuck are these massive squigglies? Massive squigglies! Ashley's room is immense. You stay in the den because the TV is larger there. <laughs> but there's a sizable one here. Flush with a uh, wall of hospital, all full-size bed. We'll take down... We'll take the scissors board down first, says Ashley, heading towards the TV and opening the entertainment cabinet. The Nintendo 64. Yes, yeah, son. It's her progenitor, of course. She gets to choose what she plays first, usually. But as she begins on hooking cords in N64 from the TV, you catch the side other things she has in there. The other things. The dead bodies. All the major stuff. The old NSA, a PlayStation, a Dreamcast. Good God, I've never actually had any of the old consoles. The oldest console I've ever had was a PlayStation 2. But some other things too, they don't usually recognize. A large black box with green highlights. A smaller purple one. A strange white and yellow tower that looks like gloves resting on hooks. Hopefully there's a white one. Uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, let's, 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 and let's say we want to know what it is, but compliment it so she'll be buttered the fuck up so she'll be okay with telling us. What a, Ashley lo looks in the clutter of the cabinet. Oh yeah, she says. They're pretty cool. I can't show them to you, though. They're still a secret. I promised my uncle. Of course. You still remember. Her uncle. The uncle who works for Nintendo. Ooh. Look around the grandfather clock. Ah. I miss those. Okay. And it's, it's tickling sloppily through the... Nearby set of patio doors, you can see it quite dark the frame pictures in the walls. Ashley is parked in front of the large TV playing something on the Nintendo 64. Think about Ashley's uncle. <laughs> Framed pictures. You walk around a permanent den inspecting the pictures idly. Most of them are family portraits from years past. Ashley has created a leveling in between her mother and father, or any of the three of their own. Happy, tidy family. Look at the pictures of her uncle! Uncle! You don't find any. Not one. The only pictures are Ashley and her parents. You don't know why that makes me feel uneasy. Time pass. Oh, what? I wanted to talk to fucking Ash. God damn it. I didn't know looking at the fucking pictures was going to do that. Oh. Okay, cool. Uh. Let's talk to her. Uh. Fucking games. An hour passes. Think about how much you like games. Ashley raises an eyebrow and remark. What do you like about them? Uh, being a hero in the stories, being the, the White Knight. The chance to be different sort of person, that's... The challenge, solving puzzles and stuff. She says, she says, that's a nice feeling, but 
Something in her voice tells me she's thinking about something. What's up, girl? Do you think yeah, it's weird to play games? Yes, yeah, suddenly, and then before you can say anything. I mean, it's like for a girl to play games. I... Yeah! Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah! I know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, girl playing games. Fuck that, it's weird. That's... I don't know, I don't think it is. Ashley shakes her head. It's just, you know, those guys at school. Wait! Not because you realize what she's getting at. Wait! Girls don't play video games. Why don't you play girl games? You're not supposed to be, this is a boy could be. Yeah, says Ashley. Yeah. But they're jerks, who cares what they say? I'm, so, I'm sorry, they're like, they're like that, I really am, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't stand up for you. I was gonna, you should stand up for your friends, bitch. I should look surprised if she you know, it was possible before. No, she, no, she says, no, it's fun. I didn't have to that, but I should. I need to get that yell, yell uh, eleven-year-old. I was gonna say some stuff. Oh God. <laughs> Listen to Mario. Take your mind off of it. Fucking Mario Kart. Because I'm your friend. Because they're jerks. Because no one should be treated like that. Because you, sh they shouldn't treat people like that. Be isn't that the same fucking thing? Because they won't stop unless they feel like they're just fighting. Because I'm Sigvid and I just want to be able to be your friend and play video games and not have people be terrible about it. Yes! Oh. And then? Thank you. Yay! We get the credit, boys! Ashley returns the intended intended leaving you alone. Alone with your thoughts. The clock chimes. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! You are in the den. The corner of the Let's watch her play. You decide you should play the next game? Ashley decides you should play the next game. Well, it's pretty boring. You're at a party and having a conversation with a man in a business suit. But there are some reason you can't move and can't move up and down, and he's uh, always smiling. You tell a story about someone else and mistake from for someone. Uh, that's that. Did you figure it out? Ashley says. Once a man in the game has apparently stood up and left a conversation. Uh. Big what? <laughs> what the fuck? Ash left. I guess not, she says, before putting her choice of game. You realize you've played for quite some time. Fuck you! Ashley's mother bustles into the room holding a large cramped bowl filled with popcorn under the arm. What are you kids doing? I mean, how are you guys get to that? But good! She says, her eyes move up from television. I hope you're having fun. Here's a popcorn with extra butter. Place it on the floor by Ash. Almost immediately, a shuffling popcorn in her mouth. Oh, God, it's yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, her mother smiles first at her and then back at you. The soda's an occasion if you get thirsty, she says, and some pizza from the overnight. If you get hungry. Not silently! Muh. Thanks, bitch. Look at Ashley! Your father's gone to bed. She looks at Ashley. Your father's gone to bed. I'll be up there soon myself. I want you to keep it quiet, alright? Yeah, Mom, whatever. Oh, and before I forget, she adds, your uncle called. He suddenly has some business here in town tomorrow. And he's driving in early. He'll be here around midnight. For some reason, Ashley stops playing her game, stops eating popcorn, and turns to look at her mother. Okay. I want you two to welcome him in. He'll be very tired and very hungry, so offer him something to eat before he goes to bed. Okay, Mom. Good night, kids. Is he a fucking cannibal? Is he going to eat me? Is he going to eat me? Uh. There's a bowl of popcorn. Grab him full of buttery and delicious. Fuck yeah. Uh. Let's go to the kitchen. Yeah, let's get in that fridge. Cold fucking pizza. A water pitcher, fuck that. Cold pizza, you grab it. Hells yeah. Walk back to that, Denzies. Can I, uh. Huh. Let's see what's up about school. And then what she did in math quiz. Yeah, trouble. She, you got an A, of course. Fuck my life. God damn it! Getting the rain outside. So let's go to that visit. So why is your uncle? 
Your uncle stays with you when he visits? Yeah. Not so aren't we? He lives uh, pretty far away, so he drives by. Isn't that a little weird? Why the fuck is that weird? He's a fucking uncle. This is really late. Yeah, isn't it? Usually goes looking dumb. How would you know? She asked. You don't even have an uncle. Oh, we're in the family. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't pursue the topic further. Yeah, I guess so. I have a conversation with It's okay. Uh, the, 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 let's head to that bathroom. Uh, there's a bathroom, the linen closet. Fuck, take a dump. Go to the bathroom, I'm not here to tell you. Uh, the linen closet. The, the, the filled with fluffy and towels and things. It was, the, there's a shower. That was pretty clean. Uh, let's get out of, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't, let's think about her, let's think about it. Mike? Fuck you for playing Castle Miner, you little bitch. It began with Mew. Mew too? You didn't believe it at first when Ashley came to school one day and told you that I finally caught Mew. Oh, okay. Prove it, you said. It showed you. There was Mew. Uh, the 151st Pokemon available only to players in promotional events somehow unlocked on Ashley's game. You're really strong, she said. It's KO every enemy, is what it? Little bitch. Ashley demonstrated this claim at recess, when you and some other friends linked Game Boys to do the battles, you were the first down. No one else, no one else got in a single hit. Ashley's Mew. You asked Ashley how she managed to get it. Oh, my uncle's got a job at Nintendo, she says. <laughs> you were walking home together, passing instruction cues. Ashley still lived next door to you at the time. Wait, it's gonna have been too long ago. When did Ashley move? Fuck my life. There's something nice about being neighbors. Yeah. Oh. He also he also got me this new Game Boy. She said, pulling it out of pocket. You yeah, noticed it earlier, but yes, Ashley had now a sleek new Game Boy Color. Until today, which is old ones, big gray brick like your. <laughs> this one's special edition. She said, isn't it cool? Yeah, bitch. You snap out of your reflections. Glock chimes. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, remember your own, remember your own Mew. You did get your own Mew eventually. Another friend who had a game shark. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Which you borrowed one day. You spent the entire night unlocking every Pokemon you couldn't obtain in your copy of the game. You hadn't traded it for, including Mew, bitch. It didn't one hit KO most enemies. It was incredibly weak. Fuck! And you shamefully cheated the game further to make it strong enough. <laughs> It didn't even look different from Ashley's. Yes or why? What? She said, you've been here. In the den. Oh, that thing. It's been a while since anyone talked about Pokemon. Now people are going crazy even to the day. Well, my uncle got me a special edition view, first of all, she said, smirking a little. But not looking away from the PlayStation game she was playing. That's when, that's when it looked different. Second of all, mine uh, can't get it because of it. It's the real view. She asked what she what she meant by that, and I got yeah, stuffy nose. Just what I said, Ashley I replied. You cheated and got a fake news. So of course, there's gonna be problems, glitches, and junk. You felt your cheeks red, nah, girl. But not me, Ashley said again. You got, I got the real man, and only me. My brother was so jealous. Ashley's being a little bitch. Ashley's brother. What about him? Why does remembering that comment make you feel uneasy? Where the fuck is he? Oh, hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. How you doing in my video? What? How you doing in my video? It's pretty good, isn't it? I agree. See, the first episode of Stardew Valley I did um, was shit because the audio was, like, mixed. Like, the game audio was louder than the actual audio. That sounds fun. Um... So that one will go up however it was. And some, like some, like OSI was here to do stuff at the lawn too. So there's just this high pitched squeal for six minutes in the video. But it, it'll buffer. Maybe. Fine. Um, today I might, I don't remember where I got to in uh, Cthulhu Saves the World, but I'll probably record a couple episodes of that before I, I have to go run some errands.
in a couple hours, so... And then I have to go to class. Oh, that's right, you guys come so, back. Oh, and that's right, today's the day where I'm gonna die at work. Fuck it, I'm gonna watch, uh... I'm gonna watch Ashley play. What? I'm gonna watch Ashley play. You grit your teeth. My uncle will be here soon, she says. Looking at the clock, you knew that, of course. Ashley smiled. Oh, yeah? Wanna oh, yeah. Wanna play one yeah. more before he gets here? Yeah. You wanna play one more before he gets yeah. here, you little bitch? Do ya? Who? Oh. The uncle that works for Nintendo. Okay, so I literally was about to play that game, and then I recorded something else. Really? I just saw I Markiplier. I recorded, I think. I saw like five minutes of Markiplier. Huh? I saw like five minutes of Markiplier do it, and I was like, oh, this seems interesting. Like, a couple I, nights ago. Oh, God, what did I record? Wouldn't uh, that have been hilarious if we both uploaded it on the same day? <laughs> Without us knowing <laughs> the other one did it. Um, I played two episodes of Stardew Valley, and I did In a Woods. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's in all the woods. one word, In a Woods. Oh, no, I In all woods. I have not. I-N-N-A woods. You're in woods right now? No, but it's it's fucking made on the Quake engine, the first one. <laughs> like, why would you make a game on the Quake engine in this day and age? Because well, it felt like it. I guess. That's the thing. OBS sucks on my computer. Really? I just keep hearing fucking Mario yeah. over and over. God damn it. Mario. Yeah, cause she's playing, uh, cause she's playing Mario right now. Guys. Mario. 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 Shut up! Mario. Is there anything else? Mario. Let's -a go. Um... No, I'm gonna record Cthulhu Saves the World, so... Okay, thank yeah, you for, thanks for Nathan. the cameo, again. Even in a You're couple welcome. of my videos now. Thanks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Have a good time. You know, it's alright. It's fine. It's it's a hundred percent okay. I'll buff out. It's good. It's Pen fine. I've never been better. Penis. Exactly. Oh, that was a nice one. Okay, last time. Let's play one more before he gets here. Sure. For quite a while, you have to hardly wander around the map, and Gold and I will actually repeatedly headshots you. The fucking little bitch. Block shine. <laughs> I hate that goddamn clown. Grandfather clock chimes at uh, the hour, and Ashley suddenly looks up from the sixth floor. It's time, she says. Is your uncle here? That's him! Okay! Okay! Oh god, that's definitely him. Okay. Holy shit. How loud are you, you bitch? Okay. As she leaves the den, you realize you could follow a part of you really feels like being scarce. Holy shit, I'm gonna be scarce. Let's be scarce. Where do you go? I'm gonna take a piss. Okay! You're the only one in the bathroom walls that are behind you. Uh, Alright, please, that's fine. Oh! The, the fucking closet! You called. God! <laughs> My god, this is loud as fuck! Okay. Okay. You... I turned it down. I might be able to deal with it now. You crawl into the plain white box that is a set of light closet. And close it behind you from right here now so you can uh, hear from the front door slam open. After that, you didn't hear anything except bad expression. Child! The rain, no, not just the rain, but the voice back in your head like bad expression. I'm coming for you, child. Like something you can't even begin to describe. Okay, then you lock the door behind you and open, it. So you can open easily. Something walks in. What your motherfucking breath? You're not really sure how you know this something, but it's out there because you don't exactly. Oh, child, bad expression. Hear it moving. 
Poor, poor child. Uh, we're gonna have to have the spot. It opens the door, even though you immediately realize it doesn't have any hands. Bro, I think there might be something wrong with you. You need these things right here. Hey! So hungry, child. You got a long child. Hello, child. Hello, worries, child. Hello, child. Scream and cease. Scream and cease. I have friends for you, child. Friends for you in the dark. We play forever. How you doing? Look at the worst for Nintendo. Okay. One game, okay. Huh. Alrighty then. Alright. Play games, save you, save your time, nothing is free. Okay. Okay, okay uh. And, uh, let's, uh, let's. Uh, no, no, he doesn't drink. Uh. Let's check out some of those other endings, shall we? Okay, guys, let's do this again! Uh, let's follow this time. Not continuous personally as you follow Ashley in the front of the house. You can come in, she says, to whoever stands at the porch, and then, uh, it's over your shoulders. Sorry. Before she can ask you, so door slams open. How you doing there, big boy? Hello, child. Come closer, child. No more worries, child. I'm hungry, child. No more worries, child. Hello, child. The dead of hearing equals none. Screaming equals C. Stop it, child. Hello, child. This is the exact same cheek. Good God, what the fuck are you think you're doing? Stop it. 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 Undefined error, child. Ugly works for Nintendo, child. Hey, there's, a, there's no option. I call your mom. Uh, let's call mom. And uh, she picks me up for three rings. Things are really weird here. Uh, I just want to go home. Yeah. She does have a little course and she doesn't call your sis. I'll, I'll call the sitter. She's probably be there now or not. Not really. I have to go. She hangs up for no okay. kid. <clears throat> and I'd say you're leaving. I quietly begin gathering your things. I think I think I'll head ahead. What? She stands up, even bothering to pause the game. Holy shit, who pauses the game? No, you can't leave. It's almost time. Well, it's time for what? You can't go, she says, ignoring your quest. And there's so much stuff I have planned tonight. You can't. I was going to let you play the next Zelda game. The one that's not even out yet. Before you can say anything, she's, uh, she's already running upstairs. Actually, continually runs up the stairs, bringing you games and consoles while you uh, pack your things. Every time she presents something... No, you ignore it and brush it off upon a caring shrug. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Says, just stay, just stay tonight, please. Uh, <laughs> no, you say that it's heading to the night. As you walk the the sister's car, you see a little, see your little sister in the back seat, still in her pajamas. The sister, a high school girl who lives down the street from you, looks incredibly unhappy to be here, but you think you'll be able to handle her as you climb the back of your house. Ashley standing in the doorway, totally still, not screaming, but not crying, not doing anything. The car begins to pull away from the house as you watch. You see her, her parents appear in the doorway behind her. Fucking wave. Without acknowledging Ashley's parents, lay their hands on her shoulders. They turn Ashley back in the house, the door closing, just anything out of view. When you turn around in your seat, you look at the back window. You don't even see the house lights. Ashley doesn't show up on school on Monday. Or Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Or Thursday, and you ask the teacher where Miss Scott Ashley is. He blinks at you confusedly. Oh, he says, eventually, he says, Ashley will be surprised she didn't tell you about this, but she had moved away. The house is empty when you ride your bike by that afternoon. It somehow seems even larger without anything or anyone in it. A for sale sign's in front. Go home. You never see Ashley again, and eventually, as the years pass, you uh, forget about her entirely. Well, fuck! Uh, 
Okay, after clicking some around, apparently uh, if you look at the pictures of remembering some stuff, there's no pictures of her brother. If you ask her about it. Your brother did it? I remember him. A long moment of silence. Huh. You're such a weirdo, she says. Huh. Alright, let's talk to... Uh, oh! This is a new one, too. Ask if actually remembers about the storm. Do you think the storm will be as bad as the one before? The thing to talk about back on the Mew thingy. The construction site. I know what you're talking about. You don't remember? Remember what? The storm happened a few weeks ago. It was huge. It took down trees. She really shakes her head. It's not important. I wouldn't remember it. Silent again. Ask all about what is. When is your uncle coming? But I thought he worked for Nintendo. Does Nintendo have a lot of business here? Well, what sort of business? Sure, I believe. I'm not sure I believe you about your uncles. What about that? Ashley takes a moment to respond. She's not quite sure what happens. She clearly just said, What? I don't believe your uncle works with Nintendo. I think you finally have done it. Ashley stands up, fist clenched, and his sides twisting and horribly. Struggling to say something, you uh, watch as she takes a step forward, you and. Gets teeth and wait for it. Ashley darts forward and pushes you bad back to the hardwood floor, cracking your skull against the carpet. Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. I mean, she doesn't throw a punch before she can get a... I don't think she'll actually do it again. Let's be dazed. Yeah, you lie there expecting another punch or a kick, and you're surprised nothing happens. She's close to crying. Uh... <laughs> Sucker punch! I didn't mean it, girl. Ashley shakes her head as remember something. Never mind, she says. Just never mind. Uh, take a breather. Ah, I, I asked about the storm again, and she apparently it's okay. She remembers it this time. Remember the storm? Yeah, but no one, but no one remembers the storm. Uh, took down trees, bitch. I remember that. It's impossible. She says, impossible. No one remembers it. But I do. Actually, shakes her head. No, no, no. You don't understand. Please, I'm not messing with you. But this is important. But this, this is different. Something's different. You said, you said no one would remember the storm. Who? He he came out of the storm. I was alone. Ashley begins. Her eyes growing distant. Mom was at work. Dad was Dad was at the bar. I thought he didn't drink. Oh, uh, and you were oh, what, what about your brother yeah you remember him too he was there upstairs he said it was the brightest lightning you ever saw then uh, the knocking started uh -huh. I answered the door knocking on her and he was lost and hungry he said he could help me all I had to do was promise to feed Ashley tenses. What is that? My, it's my uncle, she says. Or that's what he told me to call him. I don't really know. I don't know what he, what he, it is, okay? What did he do? He changed things, said Ashley. He was, he said he could make things happen and way, uh, the way I wanted them to. That's, that's why I could do best to get guys at school. Wouldn't get so weird about me playing games anymore as long as, as I feed him. What did you have to feed him? <laughs> As she looks at you, her eyes watering. What? What the fuck? Punch her in the fucking face. Uh, I think I want to go home. No, she says you can't. He's, uh, he's already on his way. Nah, I'm, I'm, call, I'm calling my mom. I'm, I'm calling my fucking mom. Call mom. Uh, uh, things are weird here. What do you mean? I just, I just want to go home. Something in her voice seems uh, gives her pause. Okay, she says after a moment. Uh, you call sitter. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Jane's over time. Okay, dead. Silent. She sings silent on the floor, and you come in. You're leaving, aren't you? Ah. Uh, Miracle's so powerful, why can't he keep me here? 
She frowns. He, he gets weak. He can't do that much. Is that he? Is that always things have been different? Is he weaker now? You can pan yourself. I'm fucking out of here. Please, says so Ashley. Don't go. I've never not fed him, and if I don't, I'm not sure what will happen. So I just want him to get eaten, eh? No, she replies. It's not, I think, uh, he'll kill me. Do you understand that? Uh, he, he would have killed me if I didn't. Just, just shut up and leave me alone, bitch. You can tell Ashley is on the verge of tears, but not unless he does, as you ask, walking over and sit in the middle of the den as you finish back and you wave an awkward silence until the final car walks outside. <laughs> Yeah, I'm being fuck up. The sitter's family's unclear. It's what closer to the little sister. Yeah. Yeah, we see this before. Head back. The front door is closed. You suddenly can't remember if you did if you did that yourself. Lights on then are still burning. As the sitter pulls away from the house, you stare at a window at the Ashley's house. The lights burn magnificent rain streaming down the glass. It's out of view. Find find out the next afternoon about the fire. It started in the den as the papers were there was not to be a fireplace. Apparently it was left smoldering at night. There were no survivors. Arson is expected since the accelerator would have helped the flames overcome the night's heavy rains, but nothing definite is ever publicly in the account. When day after school, you ride your back to check it out. Cause that still stand, walls are being blackened by the flames. Yellow cotton tape was around loops. You decide to investigate. St. Flora has either mostly burned away or fallen through, but standing in the own was the den. You look up the hole where Ashley's room, broken glass and charred drywall, much beneath your feet. You step on, something is in glass. You look down, there was a messy plug Game Boy. It's Game Boy Color, not the uh, of damage. It's in the back, it's a single cartridge of Cover Pokemon Blue. Leave it. leave the ruined house and hop back on your bag paddling back home. Your mom doesn't have work tonight and since she knows you're taking recent events hard, she promised to take you little sister to movies. You don't think about Ashley at all. Well, what the fool was this? Repetition with a difference is not the time for running. Go where you're not wanted. Go where you're not told to go. Well, that was interesting. Alrighty then. We'll talk to you all again next time.